Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 30. So today we're going to continue our training inside of our campaigns applet, and we're going to focus on building out an email campaign such that you could then send to your entire database or portions thereof uh, emails regarding marketing efforts, new listings, just listed, just sold, newsletters, etc. So we're going to dive into the campaigns applet, our megaphone icon here on the left hand side. And we're going to go into the emails tab today. So we'll click on emails and you're going to see we have a home screen here where we can track what's going on with our specific emails as far as how many of those have been sent out, how many of those have been received, how many of them have been opened, and if there was any links inside, how many people have clicked on those links. As a heads up, every Keller Williams agent receives 5,000 free emails inside of command via our uh, email service provider we call command mail so you can see on the screen i've used one of those this month and i have 4999 emails remaining you do have the ability to add additional emails if you have a larger database so you're sending out more frequent email updates if you click on this upgrade account button it's going to take you to the marketplace where you can check out the pricing and i think you can go all the way up to like 30,000 or 40,000 emails if you need it let's go ahead and dive into building out an email campaign so again we'll click on create campaign as we have the last three days we're going to choose email today and you can see this is very similar to what we are looking at with regards to direct mail we're going to say this was just listed and we'll go back to um, let's do 2422 font lake circle just kind of making up some addresses here and uh, this is going to be email to entire db and we'll do the date all right so again i'm always a big fan of making sure the title of any of your campaigns is very specific and very detailed so that way when you come back you can double check what the intent was your goal again remember this is kwri tracking purposes won't have any effect on the actual success of this campaign we're going to choose advertise listing in this case with regards to your email campaigns, you do have the ability, if you choose to, to connect MailChimp to your KW Command account, if that's the provider that you prefer to use. Obviously, you would need to uh, pay for that MailChimp account and then manage your list inside of MailChimp as well. Today, we're going to focus strictly on command email, so we'll make sure that we leave that command email button checked and go to create our campaign. From here, we've got uh, basically six steps that we need to fill out in order to get this email campaign out and running. We've already completed step one, which is essentially just choosing which channel we want to send it out from, what our campaign goal is, and what the title of the campaign needs to be. Next up, you've got the account that you're going to be sending that from. This is the email that we have tied to our command account. You can change this if you go into the settings menu and look up command mail, you can actually change the uh, reply to email address that they reply back from next up you've got the send to so this is where we're going to create the actual recipients of this email campaign and if you've never created a recipient list the first thing you're going to want to do is click on create list and from here we're going to title the list so let's say we wanted to send this out to uh, in this case all cartoon characters Right, so this list might be your entire database, it might be everybody in your sphere, all of your VIPs, if you have tags around specific neighborhoods, uh, maybe you're sending out an email blast about open houses to all of the people that have an open house tag, any of those sorts of things will work. Um, so in this case, we're gonna use the tag for cartoon characters, we'll use cartoons, it's gonna show us everybody in the database that has that tag, and we can go ahead and select all, it's going to show us it's going to build an email list of five contacts we would click on confirm and now we have built our email list so you can see that is here if for any reason we want to send out another email campaign in the future just a reminder it will only contain the contacts that you have previously added so it does not auto update so if i go in and add some cartoon characters and add that cartoon character tag it doesn't update this list i would just need to come in later and click on edit and go through that process again to catch any additional contacts that had been added to my database since the last time I updated that list. 
You can also see I have taught this before. So here are some previous lists that I have created. Once you create a list, it'll stay in that drop down to make it easier for you to choose in the future. Next up, we've got the send from and the reply to email address, very similar to kind of our account box up here, which dictates the name and the reply to email address. If you click on edit, that's going to take you to your settings menu where you can change that reply to should you decide to. Finally, we've got the subject line and then the content. So the subject line might be just listed uh, new uh, property in old uh, Katie, charming, and again, remember you have 80 characters at the bottom there, charming home, low taxes, low HOA. All right, so there's our subject line. Um, and again, you can see kind of your character count here. The max character you can have on a subject line is 80 inside of the email campaign. Finally, we need to select an email design. So we're going to select design. This is going to take us into our design library to show us if we have any previously created email designs. We obviously haven't gotten there yet in the challenge, so we don't have any of those yet, but we will when we get to designs. We'll show you how to build out an email design. At this point, we're going to go into KWRI templates. And you can see there is an entire series of 73 different templates that you can choose from when creating an email campaign. Today, I'm just going to use the search bar and I'm going to search for just listed. When I do, I'm going to get, what is this, uh, 10 different templates that we could use for email designs for just listed. I'm going to choose the modern version. And I actually have the ability, so this is what, you know, teaser alert, this is what the design editor looks like when we get into the designs applet. Um, so I could come in and actually build out my design from within the campaign if I choose to, or I could build it in designs, save it, and then access it from there. Um, we're not going to take the time to build this out because we will do that at a future challenge when we get into designs, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And then we can X out of the design editor. It'll take us back to our campaign. And on the right hand side, we'll see a preview of what this email will look like. Now, obviously it doesn't look the greatest because we didn't actually fill it all out. We've got some Latin in there and some other things, but you can get an idea of what that preview might look like if you had built it all the way out. From here, we've got just two decisions. Do we want to send this out immediately? Or do we want to send this out in the future? And you can see you could click on schedule and then decide when you want that to go out. So you can schedule email campaigns for up to two hours from now to 12 months from now, and you can edit them up to two hours before their scheduled date and time. So if you've got a listing going live next week, we talked about creating social posts around it. Well, now you could actually do an email campaign around it and send out that actual email campaign maybe next Thursday when the property goes live. Some, addi some additional marketing tools and techniques there, especially around new listings, but obviously this could be an email campaign around Happy Thanksgiving or anything that's seasonality. You're not thinking about all your database on Thanksgiving, but you're thinking about them now. You could do an email campaign around Happy Thanksgiving, etc. So. In this case, we're going to go ahead and just save this as a draft because we don't actually want this to go out from this demo account. I'm going to click on save and exit just to show you that it now shows that this is a draft in our list of emails and I can click on the three dots and choose to edit it. I can choose to duplicate it and I can choose to archive it as well. Now you can see from previous training earlier in the year, I did have an email campaign go out. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when a campaign is sent. So you can see we've got one send here, the person opened it and they did not click on anything. Now you gotta make sure that there's actually links to be clicked on inside of the email to determine the actual click column. That's it for today, guys. Your email-based campaigns inside of KW Command, a great way to notify your database about happenings in your world, new listings, just sold, uh, market updates, holiday emails, anything along those lines. You know, it's kind of the sky is the limit and we'll dive into designs again here probably next week and show you all of the email designs that you can build out and then pair with this email campaign. As always, it's always great to talk to you guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.